percents. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and it's hard to edge guard her in general. Uh huh. So, Kakujin gonna try and he's probably gonna uh, go for a lot of these fifty-fifty type things. Yes. Uh, the F tilt vanish that he's known for. Mm -hmm. um, but if if Pyrese is at one sixty, one seventy, look for him to hit him with a charge shot because that'll kill. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Seventy. Back air at the ledge. Mm hmm. Um, one thing that I will definitely be looking for is just watching. Samus doesn't exactly have the quickest options, the quickest roll. The, the, a lot of things that Samus does is a little bit slower. Um, she has some great tools, but not of, all of them are very fast. Some of them are. Yeah. But Kakajin's strength being his, in my opinion, his reaction time. Absolutely. How are we going to see Kakajin? How safely are we going to see Pyrie's play, I guess? Because if he makes Kaka the wrong will, mistake... Because will punish it. Absolutely, yeah. every single time. So I'm, I'm curious to see how safely Pyrie's plays in this matchup. And we're going to go to FD. Yep. Oh, are they still striking? Yep, FD it is. Game one. So, projectiles. No, Kako taking center stage. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Pyrie's wearing that classic purple... Uh, what is these up air? Yeah, I know. Look at that like was, look at like Samus. I honestly. know. <laughs> Four throw up air at zero. Pyrie's using missiles. Yeah, Pyrie's is famous for never using missiles. <laughs> okay, this is a big part of uh, I think this matchup. Pyrie's is very good hanging on the ledge. Uh -huh. Kakajin is so well known for his ledge guarding. Yes, absolutely. Oh my goodness, Kakajin has been in the lab. Uh -huh. He may have not been to any brackets, but like. He's been, he still plays. I saw uh, Cosmos the other night tweet that he was uh, streaming with playing with Kakajin. Yeah. So, I mean, he's still getting top level practice, whether it's on Wi Fi, you know. Yep. He's got oh. a big lead here. Good, confident walk forward from Kakajin. Mm hmm. That's what you need to do versus the, uh, the threat of the charge shot. Pyrie's <laughs> playing really patiently, really safe. He knows the threat that Kakajin brings. Ooh. That grab attempt was just a little bit too far away for Kakajin to punish. Oh, both of them <laughs> just walking up, shielding. <laughs> that was great. Pyrie's, of course, holding onto that charge shot, waiting for his moment. He hits more charge shots than, like, any Samus, I swear. Yeah, that's true. He's so smart with it. Uh-huh. Gets the reverse hit of the Nair. F till 50-50, yep. Yep. Takes that one. Up air, going to take it for Kakajin. And this is a big deficit. Yeah, and you know when when Kakajin has this sheet or has this Samus hit low percents early on, he's gonna immediately get some big combos and run up that lead even higher. Yeah. Oh, just <laughs> catches the dash. Pyrie's yeah. so good at doing just that. Mm-hmm. When you least expect it, like well, you're just gonna shoot it at me when I'm running at you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, reverse F tilt. I like that cross up from Pyrie's. He's looking for this charge shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trying to get a dash attack confirmed. Okay. Good response with the down down tilt. Mm -hmm. Any of these stray hits will will like take the stock. Yeah, we're seeing Pyrie's get a little bit more aggressive. That back and there air. it is. Yep. Pyrie's was definitely more aggressive trying to take that stock, and honestly, I think it worked out better for him. Wonder if he will continue to be aggressive here in the second stock. Ooh, Kagan! Wow, that back air I thought was unsafe and was not punished for it. Mm -hmm. A nice string into bouncing fish. Pyrie's finally connects with one of those dash attacks, gets the air dodge read he was looking for, but Kagan able to di away from that down air. Ooh! <laughs> I love Pyrie's reactions to some of these hits. He's so aggressive coming back to the stage, just throwing out those hitboxes. Oh, looking for a fastball there. Ooh! Pyrie's gets the air dodge again, but does not confirm the dare. Oh, Kakajin went for a late bouncing fish. Falls out of the up air and gets a fair after it. Yeah, Pyrie's doing a good job bringing this back just a Ooh. little bit more. And we might see Rage come into play. That uppy screw attack. But this is scary. 80% uh, charge shot will kill. Uh huh. Chris Pyrie's he loves to use that F tilt at the ledge. It's so fast and it's got good range. Can really cover a few options there. Great job jumping away from that up air. Ooh, this is scary. Ooh. And there it goes. And Kagan yeah. not really pressuring. Yeah, Pyrie's recognizing Kagan's shield is really low right there. You see him immediately charge that shot and release another one. Yeah. And this is very close. 
The aggressive <laughs> roll from Kakajin. <laughs> Looking like for Glory a little bit. Ooh, Nothing wrong with that. That's a great short hop over the charge shot. Absolutely. Bouncing fish not gonna uh -oh. quite confirm. Wow. Very scary. Yeah, this is really tense. Kakajin able to get back to the ground at shield. They're both just staring each other down in shield. Yeah, Kakajin knows F tilt's Ooh. not gonna do a whole lot. Yeah. I wonder if Pyrees is looking for maybe Ooh. the up the out of shield, but Ooh, the ledge trump back air coming in clutch for Kakajin. Great first game from these two, did not disappoint. Pyrees, I like the way he plays this matchup. Yeah. I like the way he played it as the game went on. Started off really passively, biding his time, and as the game went on, started getting more and more aggressive, and it really paid dividends for him. And he's definitely a download player, you know. He, he yeah. reads and loves reading air dodges. Uh-huh. And He was more, reading them, yeah, too. Yeah, and the more you uh, you play him, he's like, okay, this is this is where you air dodge. And he didn't quite get the punish, mm -mm. but you know that's, that's going in his noggin. Yeah. Yeah, he, I mean, he was also... If he's downloading DI, he knows where to go next. <laughs> but here's Kakadin at the yes. gets charge shot it. Pyrie's so good with the charge shot when he's off stage. Yeah, Kakadin at the ledge is Kakadin at his best. Um, reminds me of Zero Sheik in that way. Yep. It's Zero with that amazing ledge game. And there's that neutral getup. Oh, Pyrie's landing on the platform. He's catching this neutral getup brilliantly. Yep. Gives him space to jump, punishes with a dash attack. Pyrie's very aggressive getting back on the stage, able to get that dash attack into the fair. And Kako gets back down, just air dodges that up air. Yeah. But Pyre. now a lot of rage on Pyrie's. Mm -hmm. Almost fully <laughs> charged that charge shot. <laughs> Goes for that up tilt, but Kakujin going to punish him hard for it. Will it take the stock? Pyrie's. Looking like he's in danger of going to the loser's bracket here. And this is very reminiscent of game one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, relatively. I mean, there, he can still bring it back and, and turn it into a competitive game. Yep, and there's a good air dodge read. Gets the Nair. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going for the F tilt because that's going to set into a tech chase. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, good perfect shield. Yeah, F tilt seems like it's a really good um, option while guarding ledge for Samus. Yeah. Good air dodge from Kakajin. Both of them really responding to each other. Yeah. See Kakajin sit back with needles a little bit and approaches with that nair. And he's fine to take these kind of small trades. Ooh, that screw attack not quite catching the meat of Kakajin, but that's <laughs> that power shot, charge shot, excuse me, will. Ooh, Pyrie's really needs to take this stock, but I mean, you never know. You can shine spark. Kagajin didn't see that video, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, good down air. Gonna charge his his charge shot. Yeah. Yeah, just having it means so much. This is great spacing we're seeing from Kagajin. Um, playing just far enough away that he's able to read the dash attack Ooh, in time. Wow. And his great grab. Mm -hmm. Just max distance. Up air. Oh my goodness, falls out of it. <laughs> Very fortunate for Kakajin there. <laughs> oh, catches the down air. I'm, I'm surprised we haven't seen Pyrees go for more um, uppies out of shield when he's been in these situations. Oh, great yeah. tech chase with the, uh, with the charge shot. Yeah, just reads the movement there immediately. Let's go with that charge shot. Wipes out Kakajin's first stock. That was really close to a great confirm. He got that uh, dash attack. That would have been like 40%. Mm -hmm. Of course, Pyrie's at that big deficit, but oh, yeah, that F-Till into the Vanish, the 50-50. Gonna get it done once again for Kakajin, taking it 2-0. Pyrie's played well, especially in that first game. Yeah. Um, looking forward to see what he does and loses his bracket, but the former King of Washington looking to reclaim his throne while uh, the current King, King Konga, is away at Westside Saga. I know. <laughs> Shout out to Konga. I hope he's doing well. I know that he uh, he lost to Sizor. Yes. Uh, but to the loser's side of top 48, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh huh. So, yep. Shout out to you if you are tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Satellite Smash Emerald City Five here. Of course, um, Endgame TV. If you're interested in the melee action, looks like we got Silent Wolf on stream right the now. The return of Silent Wolf. Yeah. I'm really excited about that. Good to see. Or uh, maybe you just finished up. Either way, Silent Wolf is here. Other great Pacific Northwest players. 
Melee stream again is Endgame TV. And I guess they are also going to be at uh, – Endgame is going to be at GTX in a yeah. few weeks. Yeah, if you haven't uh -huh. signed up and you can go, please – Please go. It means so much to the Smash community. Yes, absolutely. That is a, maybe one of the most important tournaments, uh, Smash 4 specifically. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, no, both. Both Smash 4 and Melee yeah. um, have ever had. So I know I would be going to it. I have a wedding to be at. There. Yeah. Real life things. Adult things. Adulting. All right, up next, though, we are going to have, and I believe this is a loser's bracket game. Yeah, that's going to be Magister versus Snickledorf. This is going to be fun. Interesting. Uh, I expect Magister to go Charizard. I know he's he played hates a lot of Charizard lately. Also, yeah, he has been playing a uh -huh. lot of Charizard. It might as well be his co it'll, It turned from a secondary in a pocket pick to a co main. Yeah. And at it, uh, Magister. He, he plays Villager as well. Yeah, he plays Villager. Um, but he is a traveling artist. He's been going to a bunch of cons and poster matching people yes. with this Charizard. 